Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. I received a comment on one of my videos which I pretty much just made from Jesse is Ballin, uh 13 42 seconds ago. So I'd like to be quick on the mark with the questions to try and help you out as soon as possible. It says, thanks, I love all of yours vids. Do you know any way to change how your clock look at the bottom right of our screen, that boring old clock, I want it to look better? Smiley face. Um, Yep, um, this is what my clock looks like, very boring. It's using the Calibri font which I've used uh, with a registry tweak and if you want to know how to do that, uh, search for uh, desktop black, uh, dark desktop mobile phone 2003, something like that. I've said how to, uh, you can get all your system fonts looking like Calibri. So um, anyway, uh, my first port of call was to get something called T-Clock X. Um, I used to use it in Windows 2000 and it used to modify your clock so you could put the date in only if I go to run it, it's great, it runs and everything, you can change the font, background colour but it doesn't help that it loads like Windows 2000 did and it's got a like a weird background that you used to get in the classic version so this might be handy if you have the classic uh, theme on your XP computer or um, Vista computer but it doesn't help if you um, if you don't, if you have a custom theme like I do so the next port of call I thought, I thought damn it doesn't work so the next port of call was to get something called Alpha Clock 3 now what Alpha Clock 3 does is pretty much exactly the same as T-Clock X it's uh, free to download, I'll provide the link in the description and as you can see straight away my taskbar clock has changed to say Saturday 7.15 now if I right click this I can get this to say the time, so ready? Today is March 1st, it is 7.16 a.m. While I'm up at 7 o'clock in the morning, I don't know, but hey, whatever. Um, basically, um, you can get it to say the time, copies of the clipboard, show a calendar, a nice little mini calendar instead of loading up like the classic XP and change the time. Now in the preferences, you've got lots of different things. Now this is the free edition, uh, build 2nd of May 2007. Uh, apparently it expires until May 2008, so I suppose when, when it in it expires in a couple of months you can then download the next version to keep it free so remember to do that otherwise your version will expire your free edition will expire so uh, first thing we've got is this uh, button here as you can see straight away we've got the taskbar clock and you notice it says Saturday and then the time in the morning um, you can change it to uh, basically have a format string so it's saying date 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 uh, hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second. So you can actually have it. You can even write your own name in it. So I can say, Dungan is great. And then have date, date, H, H. And it says now in my taskbar, Dungan is great. Saturday, yeah. So you can change, you can add any um, name you want. But if you want to start adding numbers and dates and things like that, all you have to do is click the format elements. It's got some samples here of what you can use if you want to change it. And, um, so you can say default short time, default long time. But here we have the time elements, and it says H, 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 capital H, capital H, H. So um, depending on what you want to have in your taskbar, if you want it 24 hours or minutes, seconds and all that, AM, PM, and time zones, then you just need to use these elements and use like MMM uh, in your main string. So if I, you don't have to have colons, so I could have a dash. So then when I look at my clock, it's now got dashes instead of colons. Uh, you can fix loads of things here. Um, our internal border width, now I'm not sure what this does. I uh, haven't tried it, but the font, obviously, I'm going to keep the same because it keeps the rest of the system. Um, you can use a custom font. Text color, so if you want to change it, I don't know, have a red one. Oh, wow, how cool is that? So that's a red thing there, and you can change the background, but I wouldn't advise um, pressing this if you have custom themes like I do, I've got a custom uh, start menu so um, it will change the background on this and then you'll end up like T Clock X did so you've got some other things here, Atomic Clock, now what's an Atomic Clock? Atomic Clock is um, one that sets itself by uh, it's, an it's the official time basically, I think it sets by Big Ben for me uh, basically you can connect to um, websites and they will give you the exact proper time um, and like if I press get time now uh, apparently my time is minus two seconds so I need to adjust my time to be the exact time that it should be so I just press adjust and it says successfully adjusted so you can say adjust on connect so when you start uh, alpha clock it will um, update your time but I, I don't unless you have like a really your battery's running out on your computer like a really really old computer you won't really need to do this um, 
Now, uh, another thing is uh, the talking clock. You can set it every 30 minutes if you really want to piss people off. If, to be blunt, if you want to piss people off, have, have it set every 30 minutes. You'll probably piss yourself off as well. Uh, don't speak between uh, 10 o'clock and 7. That's a brilliant idea because if people are trying to sleep and your clock suddenly says things, uh, say the time first and then say the day. Play a chime. Say the date. Today is short so you can say, get it to say different things. And say the time. Here we have uh, alarms, so you can set yourself an alarm clock in the morning. Uh, you may want to have a look at my uh, previous video on scheduled tasks. Uh, if you don't want to start using alpha clock and you want to have an alarm, you, uh, check out one of my scheduled tasks videos. I've basically said how you can have an alarm and it will wake your computer up and do it if you ever want to do that. And uh, last but not least is the calendar and then you can oh various things about the calendar, the colours, fonts and the weeks. So that's pretty much it. This is Alpha Clock. It's free to download. I'll provide the link to both in the description because someone will probably come along and say, well, you didn't configure T Clock X properly. You can have it so it runs fine in the background, whatever. So I'll include both of them if you want to try them out. And if you know of any other ones than these, this I just stopped it looking for Alpha Clock free because um, it does everything I want it to and it works. So thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos. And thanks again.